all right guys so as you can see where i'm at so for those of y'all that don't know it's time to go let off shirley season all right it's actually time to go fire some rounds off man oh man knock some dust off of them as some folks say so i'm gonna get in here man i'm gonna get back with y'all What's up, y'all? Uh, getting this day started, man. We got a couple errands to run today, man. So, like I told y'all from now on, y'all, I'm gonna start doing some vlogging. Oh yeah, of course. If you don't know, this is what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, uh, shout out to my great vlogs, man. He's showing y'all how to do this. But in the meantime, I know it's better this one. I know it's a little dirty. if you want oh yeah by the way if you haven't subscribed to that channel subscribe to that channel i'm telling you but yeah man um uh, we'll go ahead and get this day started uh, you guys already paid i can't you know put no money in y'all pocket Whew, man first and foremost man y'all what is going on man it is cold out here it's cold out here um uh, so yeah man What's going on? Like I said, we on our way. I'm on, actually on my way to my doctor's appointment. Your health is most important. Make sure y'all get that health taken care of, man. I don't care what it is. If you feel a cough or sneeze or something, go get checked out. But uh, we gonna get this day started. I gotta try to get the beast cleaned up. The beast actually look like he been in a fight. Uh, I mean, just salt and stuff like that, man. Um, so shout out to my guy in Charlotte, Jay, with the Epic Touch. You know I'm coming to see you, man. Or we will link up today, cause I can't have a beast looking dirty like this. Um, secondly, um, what's really been going on? Look at here, man. I ain't got to do no videos on this organic clown. Um, like I say, brother, what you doing? You know what you doing? At the end of the day, it's, it'll catch up to you, which we see it now that it's actually happening. Um, you know some of the foul and dirt you'd have done it, it's caught up to you i ain't got to do videos on you uh like i say it's well over 30 plus people that's exposing you for what you're doing what you do like i say at the end of the day we'll come to the light um but um that's that's what i'm not here for my channel is not that like i say if y'all looking for channels to expose organic man y'all y'all check out them channels um i screen vlogs um micro vlogs 1000 hp media um just to name a few uh that's out there exposing this this guy and i mean he's putting down they're putting down facts man i can understand if these guys was taking time out they busy schedule you know to shoot y'all some bs but they're actually pulling receipts that's the difference um another thing like i say what he's doing anybody can do it um so I will be trying to bring that to my channel, just like Mike Ray is doing, showing you how to start your clothing line. Like I said, and this ain't just the hoodie. This is the actual whole suit. So that's right. You see the R on it. It is trademark. But uh, <clears throat> I'm not go and my suits ain't no hundred and four hundred dollars or whatever he's charging for his suits, man. Um, my prices on my suits, the whole suits. Are 60 if you buy more than one they're 50 a suit so that's my deal on them um and i got these in all colors um so but i'm not here to promote my business on youtube um i can use it as a free promotion but i'm not um like i say my business is doing well um i got suits going out wazoo i'm actually waiting on some shipments to get here um i don't go through alibaba but if y'all would like to know 
comment matter of fact comment down below if y'all would like to know how to do this step by step how to start your business and I guarantee you I can do a video to show you where you can start your business for under a thousand dollars in your home no third party just you um, I can show you how to do that if that's what y'all would like to see to come to the channel um, of course there's gonna be car content coming to the channel speaking of car content content I do have more stuff coming um, I'm just waiting on stuff to get here the snow did delay a lot of uh, my packages and stuff but uh once I leave my doctor's office I'm gonna turn this camera back on and get back with you guys one hour later all right so we back ah, man this here ain't nothing like that good old Mopar cold crank man um, so yeah back to what I was saying man um, the thing with the um, with the organic stuff you know what I'm saying like I said I had a few people because I commented on one of his pages um, you know what I'm saying about you know giving advice to people to, to tell them go out here and, and go to all these dealerships and stuff like that to you know um, well pretty much what I said is you shouldn't be trying to go to dealership to dealership to get a car above your means um so of course you know there's the negative comments that come through and then they start coming at my page so like i say if you didn't like what i what i said listen i've been in the game too long man to understand that when you go say if you do start off with an 800 credit score or a 700 credit score you got all this every time you go into these dealerships man they doing hard pulls on your account so my advice was trying to tell folks you know well you know try to tell the young ones that yo it's not a good investment to sit there and keep going to these dealerships 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 knowing one you don't have the finances to pay for that car or you don't have um you know a good stable job pretty much to make the payments on this car so you get declined now you try to go to another dealership guess what same thing You've been to three dealerships in one day and they did hard pulls on you. They're not gonna just pull at once. They're gonna do multiple pulls on you to try to get you approved for that car. So at the end of the day, man, like I said, I came to the channel and said one comment and I had so many people come at my channel or organic people come at my channel saying, well, oh, you know, you got a V6 and, um, you know that little cheap car this and that understand now you're right i was smart about the deal though at the end of the day <laughs> i've had my car what two years now i bought my car brand new no miles i'm not leasing it and so you know i don't come on my channel and say you know when my lease is up oh something don't broke on it or, or none of that because I take care of my car. I value my car. That's the difference between wanting something and dreaming of having something. It's okay to dream, I give you that. But I, like I said, I'm not here to bash that man's channel. That's, that's just not me. What you doing, you know what you doing. Um, but anyway, man, y'all talk to me, man. First, like I said, first and foremost, man, if you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button like comment you know share uh we're on our way to a thousand um what is this truck doing don't you hate when people ride the on ramp knowing you got to get on and they sit there and ride it and ride it but um anyway like i was saying man uh talk to me y'all man uh how y'all feel about them games man chiefs and the bills and tennessee you know, the Tennessee game, the my shocker, Here's, it was my shocker. What got me was the Green Bay game. I did not expect that. Uh, I don't think a lot of people expected that. Because uh, me, I picked, I, me personally, I picked Green Bay to go to the Super Bowl. Because I felt Aaron Rodgers had a point to prove. That's why, that's just me. Um, this, this Super Bowl now is up in the air to anybody. I know a lot of y'all saying Cincinnati, Cincinnati, you know, Cincinnati this, Cincinnati that. Um, we could see a 49ers in Cincinnati Super Bowl, you know. That just could happen. But, um, like I say, me personally, 
I had picked Green Bay to go all the way through. Everybody know I'm a Dolphins fan. Um, yeah, we going through whatever, whatever. Y'all say what y'all want, man. And and before y'all before y'all dog my team, understand this. I don't care what quarterback we get. If we don't address our offensive line, that quarterback still gonna get beat the brakes off. Like it don't matter who he is. Do I have faith in Tua? Here, like I said. I look at Tua, if Tua has a good offensive line that gives him time to make downfield throws and, you know, deep passes and stuff like that, yeah, I can, I can, I can, you know, go with him. Like I said, the quarterback is not the issue. I hate when people come and say, oh, man, Tua sucks, Tua this, Tua that. It don't matter what quarterback we get. Everybody talking about Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert, I'm sorry. You had all these stats, Justin Herbert, but you still finish nine and eight. If I'm not correct, if correct me if I'm wrong, I think my Dolphins finished nine and eight. So what's that saying? At the end of the day, we gotta have an offensive line. We need that offensive line. <coughs> we not like Brady and got, you know, the rafts in our pocket. Well, <laughs> that game, he didn't. Well, they was. They was lighting Brady up left and right, but uh, I loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, because like I say, they, they talk about Brady this, Brady that. Brady is so the golden boy. I mean, I'd be the golden boy too. If I, you know, if a team kicks the ball down the field, on the, gets me to the 30 or the 40, he does one little short dump pass to, you know, his tight end. Then he gets a 15-yard penalty for, you know, roughing the pass or something, and then he does another play and then guess what you in field goal or you touchdown i mean come on y'all think i'm lying on this comment down below man i want y'all to comment down below and let me know i want to know how y'all feel about it about the tom brady thing if i'm wrong say i'm wrong but a lot of y'all that seriously sit down and watch the games of tom brady you will see it too i, I gotta move from him behind this big semi he's dropping big blocks of ice um but Comment down below, man. Like for real, because look at the just look at the games. Just every game that Tom Brady plays. Just look at the games. If y'all think I'm lying, you'll see them kick the ball off. The guy will probably run it to the 25, to, you know, the 30 or 40, whatever. I guarantee you, out of that, out of that, out of that drive, there will be a 15 yard pass, uh, uh, roughing the pass on. Them on Brady. I guarantee you. And out of that, he'll probably get maybe one good long pass down, like a 20, 15 yard pass down the field. And then guess what? You field goal or you touchdown. Running back, run a couple play. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel good that he's not going. Like I say, Cam Newton went out there and he took hits, man. He was even out of bounds and took hits. I'm not even making this a racial thing. Brett Farr. Look what they did to Brett Farr when he left Green Bay. Bro, they put a bounty out on him, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying, man. Yeah, come on, man. Y'all talk football. Because I know it's a lot of guys out there talking. You know what I'm saying? So, our Cowboys, I know, again, it happened again. As usual. You know. Uh, <coughs> Let me tell you something. I don't care about y'all cowboy fans, man. Y'all talk with y'all. Ain't nobody scared of y'all. Y'all always talk that same talk. Y'all win four games and then y'all start talking about Super Bowl. Just be, be honest with yourself. Care nothing about that. I don't live that reality. We win a few games. Hey, man, that's a surprise to me. But I was still support my team, man. I was going to sit there and, and say, oh, yeah, we going to the Super Bowl. I know we ain't going to no Super Bowl. We're not ready yet. Even... Even this year, everybody was, you know, hoping we made the playoffs. No, I don't want us to go to the playoffs until we address that offensive line. We not ready. Defense, why? Yeah, we we ready in defense. We we, I mean, we were sticking to you in the defense. You throw that ball, we picking it off. I guarantee you that. But offensive wise, like I say, man, we gotta address that offensive line. Um, and then here's the deal with the coaching. Um. Coaches, y'all can't go there and tell your quarterback, man, you terrible, this and that. You know, it's a way of doing it. 
you can't sit there and dog your quarterback and then expect your quarterback to go out there and perform nice for you. That, that ain't how it works, you know. Uh, did I like Flores? Yes, I did like Flores. He did a, he did a couple dumb calls sometimes, you know, like he doing two challenges back to back. You know, I thought that was real dumb, you know, but it's football, man. Um, now that Kansas City game, man, listen here. Y'all know what it is, man. You can't get too upset in these games, man. I, I've learned that a long time ago. One, y'all don't own no team, man. Yeah, you support the team. You're going out buying your jerseys and stuff like that. But listen, man, y'all don't own that team, man. Stop getting too upset and getting in fights and stuff. Hey, hear me. Uh, hear me like, hey, that, that fight now, <laughs> that Dallas game, that's what I mean, y'all. This is what I mean. Y'all Cowboy fan, y'all take stuff too personal, man. I mean, come on. Y'all take it too personal. It's just fun and games. If you can't be fun and games with the sports world, man, hey, go go do something else, man. Like I say, people gonna trash talk. The same way y'all trash talk, people gonna trash talk back to you. You gotta be able to dish it. I mean, you can dish it, but you gotta be able to take it too now. Because y'all talk a lot of junk, and it's always, oh, man, why y'all hating on America's team? That ain't my team, first of all. I care less about that star, you know. That star can mean little to me, you know. Shit, Twinkle Twinkle was a star. I'm just saying. That could mean little to me. But uh another thing, man. Hey, hey. Hey, Laker fan. Boy, hey. You know, I ain't I ain't. I'm just saying, Laker fan, you know, I'm I'm still wiping my mouth. Uh Laker fans, uh are we old y'all that. Y'all had KD too. So don't sit there and say, oh man. 80 what now? Yo, no, I don't want to hear that. LeBron was there, you know. Just give us our props, man. We strong, baby. <laughs> we white hot still. <laughs> man, listen, LeBron came to Miami for a reason. Don't be surprised you see him back. Do I want LeBron back? Man, listen here. No, I don't want him damn LeBron back, man. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't want no LeBron back. Go to say it, y'all. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. But we good. Y'all see what we doing without LeBron. We ain't building no super team. And those in the NBA, y'all know what these super teams is, man. Y'all got, listen. <coughs> Let's talk, y'all. Listen. If you got more than five superstars on your team, you as a super team. I'm going to put it. I'm just going to say it. You a super team. Y'all name five superstars on the Miami Heat team. Other than Jimmy Butler. Because you can't count Hero as a superstar. You can't count Duncan Robinson as a superstar. P.J. Tucker is not a superstar. He has a ring, but he's not a superstar. So, Bam, I mean... He's not a superstar. I'm talking about superstar people like Melo, you know, Jane Harden, you know, big name superstar, you know. You can't name me five on the Miami Heat. So, I don't even want to hear that, oh, the Heat got a superstar team. First of all, understand this. Let me address this too. Because I have a lot of people coming at my Heat, my Miami Heat. Everybody said it started with us. No, it didn't. It started with the Lakers. When they had James Worthy, Magic Johnson, all of them, you know. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know. When they had all them people. It didn't start with us. It was us versus them. LeBron saw an opportunity to come play with D-Wade. At the time... Chris Bosch was at the end of his contract. So, guess what? He wanted to go to another team. He could have went to Cleveland, played with LeBron. He didn't do that. He wanted to come to Miami. So, I will give y'all that. Was that a super team? Yes. We had Ray Allen. 
So I need for everybody to quit saying, oh, LeBron came to Miami and won us a ring. First of all, we had a ring before LeBron got there. You know, only thing I hated was my boy Tim Hardaway didn't get a ring. That's what I hated. I hated Tim Hardaway did not get a ring. He deserved a ring and he should have got one. Yeah, that's, that's how far back I go with my Heat. I'm a real Heat fan. Um, do I pull for my Hornets? Yeah, I pull for the Hornets because, you know, it's the home team. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to the Hornets and the Heat, I'm going to pull Heat. But um, everybody talking about, oh, LeBron, no, 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 no. LeBron, no. Ray Allen. Clutch. Ray. Hey, Zeus. Y'all know Ray. Jesus. But, um, no, 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 no. D-Wade went off that one game. I'm just saying against the Hornets. All because of Van Hackle. Yeah, but. So, don't sit there and say, oh, LeBron did this, LeBron did that. Because I know it's a lot of y'all LeBron fans out there finna tag me and y'all finna go at me. Oh, we can go. We can go. You know, we can go vlog for vlog on this. Because if Kyrie Irving don't make that shot, LeBron don't win a ring in Cleveland. Argue with me. Argue with me. But uh, let's talk some sports, man. Uh, especially football, because I know some Cowboy fans finna get me. Y'all finna come at me, but it's okay. Like I said, at the end of the day, man, y'all sit down home with us. Y'all wreck a 0 0, just like us. I like messing with y'all. Y'all the most, y'all say y'all the most hated team. Y'all not the most hated team. Y'all are the most hated fans. Y'all have the most hated fans because y'all talk so much trash. And then when y'all lose, we can't find y'all. We can't. I mean, we just, you know, we looking for y'all, but we don't know where y'all at until y'all win again. Then when y'all win again, y'all back to the Super Bowl talk. Listen, yeah, y'all got five rings. That's back in the days. That was back in whole decade. We in the 2000s. I ain't got no ring. Y'all ain't got no ring in the 2000s. So let it go. We tired of hearing that too. We tired of hearing that. Y'all know where's it in the Pittsburgh Steelers fans? Steelers, yeah, we could. Boy, that's so it is. Light. Beautiful day out, boy. But, um, yeah, man. Y'all talk to me. Because, like I say, what's going on with the sun? Man? Hey, man, I'm sorry that's sunny, y'all. Hey, man, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get up here. I don't heard police. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, man, y'all talk sports, man. Because I think this is what I want to start doing. I want to start vlogging, man. You know, getting to know y'all personally and stuff like that. Uh, trying to feel what y'all like. You know, stuff like that, man. Because, um, like like I say, as a YouTuber, I do want to get to know my fans, supporters, and stuff like that to where I can start doing raffles and giveaways and stuff like that. Um, all right, Mustang. I see you coming. My camera. Y'all, this is a little Mustang. But, uh, he gave it a thumbs up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, like I say, y'all, I want to get to know y'all personally and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, like I say, the organic stuff, I, I don't have to do nothing about organic, man. Y'all doing a good enough job on it. I mean, yeah, it's another black man, but at the end of the day, man, this black man is taking advantage of some of the, the lower class under him. Um, like I say, lying and stuff like that. Listen here, I mean, it's not worth it, man. At the end of the day, you sit there and lie to your supporters, man. Supporters, they, they, I mean, they go do their homework, man. So, at the end, that's how we look at it, man. You can't sit there and say you're going to do this because people going to look, bro. So, you lying and trying to make yourself look good, bro. I mean, just, just be you. That's it. That's, that's all, that's really all YouTubers want to see. Uh, you know, like I say, some of y'all, some of y'all folks, you know, that's trying to come up, that's in the Honda world, that's in the, you know, the, the four-cylinder world, whatever. Each person in YouTube has their own stepping stone, like me, for instance. Um, like I said, I've had the V8s. I had, I literally got rid of my BMW 745 for this. So then I had a Charger also V8. So, I mean, I'm, 
All right, y'all. So I had to cut that video short. That's just part one of the uh, the daily vlogs. They talking sports and you know addressing the organic issue. Um, so now I'm home now, safe, you know, and chilling. Um, but like I said, man, um, if y'all wondering what that is, yes, that's the heat press. Um, I do have the 15 by 15. So like I said, comment down below if you would like to know how to start your own clothing line, uh, just for the simple things at home. Uh, right now I'm in front of the computer now, so um, I'm actually getting ready because I have orders that I need to get ready to go out. Um, but I just wanted to vent to y'all a little bit. Like I say, talk sports and stuff like that. Comment down below if that's what y'all would like to see me do. We talk sports. We talk, I mean, basketball, football, but whatever, man. We just talking sports. Um, so that's another thing I'm bringing to the channel. I've been working on bringing to the channel is... Um, it's like, you know, daily vlogs and stuff like that. Oh, don't get that twisted. That is not no little ass TV. So I don't want y'all to sit there and say, oh, that's a little ass TV. That's a 60 inch. Um, and then I have an 85 inch in the living room. But um, like I say, I'm not here to lie and say, oh, yeah, man, I'm in a big ass mansion. Because uh, that's what, not what I'm here for. Um, I'm not giving y'all too much personal information on, you know, the, the inside. Yeah, that's a Super Nintendo for those that know what that's about. Um, that's just my stress reliever. I'm an Xbox man. That's what's in the living room. Um, but you know, like I said, I just wanted to throw that in there. I know y'all gonna be like, well, damn, what happened to the end of the video? That just part one of what we're gonna start doing on vlogging. Um, like I said, I am trying to bring new stuff, new content. Um, also I have went and put a new camera on Lailway. Um, cause like I said, I, I want to stop using my phone to do my videos is actually filling up my memory. So I do want to stop doing that. Um, and actually go with an actual camera. Um, so I did get the Nikon, um, it's the D5200 series. Um, it's a nice camera for video, YouTube and stuff like that. Um, I will have a video up of that, me getting that camera and stuff like that, brand new in the box and stuff. Um, but like I say, that's, that's another video that's coming. Um, and then like I say, I have my cruise that's coming up next month in a couple weeks. I can't say when. Uh, due to safety reasons, you know, you tell people where you at. That's how people get at you. Um, like I said, I don't know if I got enemies, but everybody know. Like I say, you walk up on me, it ain't that easy. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, follow me on Instagram at capital K A P capital 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 K A P I T A L the number four M A on Instagram, and then like I say. My Facebook, you know, you can follow me on there on Facebook um, to see what's going on today. Like I said, I did just leave the gun range uh, about maybe two hours ago uh, and it went well. I still got it. So <laughs> I'm just letting you know at 20 yards, <laughs> 20 yards, it ain't good for you, buddy. Um, uh, like I said, man, um, we're going to be talking, discussing a lot more stuff. And like I say, again, with the organic stuff, I'm not here to address that stuff, man. Uh, Mike Ray Vlogs, Ice Cream Vlogs, A Thousand Media, Mr. Skinny, y'all already doing a hell of a good job of, of you know, doing it. And no, y'all not tearing that man down. And I know some of y'all finna sit there and say, hey, why y'all tearing down another black man? It ain't about tearing down another black man. It's about him taking advantage of other people. So in the meantime, I'm finna get up out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.